With all that beauty, sometimes you have to pay a little and you're right. That's one of those things, right? You uh, want to go out in the ocean, enjoy it, and of course the stingrays are out there. Uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our newest meteorologists, Kyla Grogan, is joining us here on this Thanksgiving Day. Sunset. Happy Thanksgiving Look at this. and welcome. I mean, well, thank you. I feel like the sky is welcoming me. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Uh, we see the oranges that we think about heat, right? We saw plenty of that today. But things are about to start changing for us as we get into tomorrow. So record heat is not something we should be looking at uh, as we get past today. But boy, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful View. All right, let's talk about what's going on here. The reason we've got this heat is high pressure. It is really allowing for those temperatures to pump up, those clear skies. But we do have a low pressure system that is off to our north, going to be entering into the Pacific Northwest. That will start to change things for us. We're going to see that ridge start to kind of flatten out. It means it will start to get clouds in and another system will make its way towards us. Right now at LAX, though, boy, it's beautiful out there. If you've got friends visiting from out of town, they think this is magic. It's 72 degrees, winds out of the west southwest about eight miles per hour, and just a really Really nice night out there. Very few clouds. Now, if you're wondering, are we the only ones with the heat right now? The answer is yes. Just want to show you all across the country. Here we're talking 30s in the Northeast, 70s down in Miami, and uh, 50s in the Pacific Northwest. But if you're in Grand Forks, you wish you were in Los Angeles right now. Here are our temperatures currently. Still some warmth out there. Look at San Bernardino, 86 degrees at this hour, 78 in downtown LA. Again, LAX at 72, Santa Ana at 75. So those of you by the coast right now are getting a little break from the heat. We are still dealing with an offshore flow. So while the winds are calm, that offshore flow has been helping to blow some of that warm, dry air towards us. And that is going to continue until we start to see this high pressure flatten out and this next system, this low pressure system, start to drop in. So as that Ridge weakens, temperatures start to relent, and the next system coming in from the Pacific Northwest will bring us a little bit of cloud cover. But tonight, some of these lows, not very low, as you can see, 62 in Claremont, 61 in Riverside tonight, 56 in Hemet. As we take a little ride here, we go to Sunland, that's 59 degrees, 60 at Huntington Beach, lots of 50s and 60s out there which again at this time of year is a little crazy. 56 in Camarillo, they set a record today for heat. 54 in Van Nuys. Uh, it's going to be a mild evening as we go across. Now our highs tomorrow still going to be above average, well above average, but as you can see, we're not talking crazy 90s, we're 80s. So 80 degrees for Ventura, 89 in Northridge, 88 in South Pasadena, 84 in La Puente, 74 in Newport Beach, Dana Point coming in at 74 as well. Lots of 80s here as we head to Fontana, 86, 88 Bernardino, and 91 in Rancho Mirage. So so temperature trends, where are we going? Well, it's going to get better. This is downtown LA over the next five days. Of course, we're going to see these temperatures pull back, but keeping in mind that we should be in the low 70s, it'll be Monday before we see that. I will have the seven day forecast coming up a little bit later in the broadcast. So we'll get your forecast for you guys. Back to you. All right, thank you so much. People are going to associate her, our viewers, with great weather, so it's a great start for her. Yeah, isn't it? very good start. <laughs> thank you, Kyla. All right, uh, what a win for the Chargers today. They smoked the Cowboys in Dallas. I love hearing that. Yes. <laughs> the early game featured the Minnesota Vikings, who sat down to Thanksgiving dinner in the end zone. And wondering if you've been fooled by Russian propaganda on Facebook or on Instagram? Up next, see how you can find out. And tonight on CBS 2 News at 6, a Southland man is getting ready to launch himself over the desert in a homemade rocket. Details of his very unusual project. The Surf Report on CBS 2 is sponsored by Hawaiian Airlines. Come voyage with us. And if you got guests visiting, they may be heading to the beach. Can you blame them with this gorgeous weather? Uh, surf is looking good here. You can see we've got one to two in uh, Leo, Korea, but we also have Manhattan Beach at two to three foot waves. And we're looking out for our high tide this evening, about six, between 645 and 654. Also want to mention there is no small craft advisory for the beaches off of LA. If you go north points north of Malibu, we do have a small craft advisory for you.